r slash ask reddit, what's a popular trend now that could easily ruin someone's future? You can just say LinkedIn. Fuck that. Never. Posting everything about your kids online. JFC there are so many reasons why this is a bad idea. People who post their kids full name, DOP, the locations of their school and activities, teachers and friends names, and embarrassing anecdotes and personal info in addition to hundreds of pictures on social media have got to be some of the dumbest people out there. Definitely. I bet that in the not that distant future we'll have a lot of kids from family YouTube channels, the worst examples of this issue, talking about how badly all of it harmed them. Needing an audience for everything you do and say. Everyone wants to be famous. Doxing people, I think in the near future there will be serious laws when it comes to doxing and invading people's privacy slash posting sensitive information about someone without consent. Corporations don't need to be collecting and selling our info, either. I really hope so. The law seriously need to catch up. There's a lot of social media trends that make people feel unattractive, not good enough and inadequate. It may push people to make decisions they don't want to do such as cosmetic or major surgeries that may ruin their bodies or health, just to stay trending and relevant. Mostly it's about mental health though, that can change a person's entire personality and future if damaged by pressures and feeling not good enough. This is so common amongst the younger generation and it's actually saddening. AI image generation. I've shown people samples of how you can take a photo from someone and use A.I to create an image in their believable environment of them cheating. It's hard to fix too. It's gonna be brutal. Absolutely, and some procedures are pretty new, so we don't really know how they age. Posting every little thought on social media without putting it through any filters, like the original is this a good idea to say right now, filter. Steven is thinking of buying a new shirt. I'm really glad my stuff is just gone. Most of it was cringy and harmless, but I can't find it anywhere, and I've looked. I thankfully didn't get much attention so deleting my accounts actually resulted in it disappearing. Sharing your entire life on social media seems to be backfiring lately. The YouTuber journalism trend. All opinion-based essay videos filled with misinformation people take at face value as fact is horrifying. Not just in journalism but in fashion, etc. related videos. The amount of times people don't bother even researching how to pronounce something or don't get the basics and then are lecturing about a subject, it's just odd and off-putting. Yet I know people that are fed up with televised mainstream media, understandable, but have now substituted that for comedians with YouTube channels talking and current events. Only fans. Knew of a mutual acquaintance that did it while working as a law clerk. She was doing it to pay her way through law school. Job found out, fired her. Three law schools in LA already denied her. She's trying to apply out of state, but further east you go, the more conservative the states get. Could also impact security clearances slash checks for jobs. I just watched a video on Instagram from someone who makes workout clothes, and some places on Amazon were ripping off her designs and even took one of her videos but replaced her face. Literally a one colon one video, just different face. Also AI deep fake porn. It already has ruined lives, it's going to ruin more. R Social media activity that a prospective employer sees and which kills you as a candidate. Digital addiction. Giving your kid an awful name. I get wanting to give them something unique, but my friend told me about one woman who named her daughter Harlot. I met a little boy named Casein at a cookout. Like Mason, but the milk product. I was very confused when the parents told me. Poor guy. Please don't go the other way and give them an overly common name. Getting an email address is so hard when a third of you country shares your name. Nude posting probably. I'm not suggesting there aren't consequences to everything we post online, but it'd be cool if people could chill out about nudity and the fact that other people have sex lives. How many people post nudes or have OFS under their real names, though? Like, sincere question, outside of the naive few, aren't most of them using pseudonyms? Maybe. It seems like there's so many people doing it, that the future might just be yeah okay whatever, that's not even juicy. Fentanyl. Is the take a selfie slash video extremely close to a passing train trend that was popular in at least India still a thing? Because if so, definitely that. Subway surfing. Teens keep dying in NYC. Please tell me that's not really happening. Apparently a few teens have died in the Bay Area too while surfing BART trains. Only fans. Future employers definitely do not want to see your twat when they google your name before employing you. Unless that's the job you are applying for of course. Face tattoos. 
have met quite a few people with a psychological dependency on weed. Never once have I thought they were well-adjusted and rational people. Still a drug, be it legal or not. I'm not addicted, I can stop anytime I want. Face tattoos. They called hand tattoos jobs toppers for a reason. Thinking of that one TikTok. When I first heard about this, I thought for sure it was an exaggeration, but threads on other sites would have people posting hundreds of unique gifs and short videos of dudes getting absolutely smashed by a train. Like they didn't realize that the train cars themselves would be wider than the tracks. Depends on the job. You're certainly limiting your options though. I work a corporate job and am in graduate school at an Ivy League. I have tattoos, including on my hands, knuckles, and chest. Also have a bunch of facial piercings and big OL holes in my ears. People are beginning to care less and less about this stuff definitely not life ruining at all. I mean. I know bedside nurses with hand tattoos. Don't even have to cover them up. Anything that involves being a dipshit on social media. Parents posting every detail about their kid's life. Vaping. It hasn't been around long enough to see much in the way of the long term effects yet, but I'm sure that as the decades roll by it'll be linked to growing numbers of different types of terminal cancer cases and other health problems. Posting things on TikTok that they thought were funny at the time, but later your prospective employer finds them, and they're taken quite literally, and seriously. I've heard this scare tactic for decades and never once met anyone who got denied a job for something they posted online. Yeah a few people got fired for posting stuff while they were employed, especially while at work or representing the company in some form or another, but never for their past posts. Filming yourself doing anything illegal or morally questionable. Ten years later, you can get released from a good job because you did something minor the boss didn't like, so HR checked your old social media and found out you do things unbecoming of a company employee or some such. There are thousands of tech-related AI issues right now that have not been legislated on, that can come back to haunt people. Gambling. Most social media trends especially the ones where you engage in reckless behavior for clicks and likes. Having an OnlyFans. The internet never forgets. Posting nude or half-nude pictures on social media. Posting stupid insane parties or events that you are a part of on social media. This one is really stupid. People who not only record their crime while they're doing it. But then they turn around and post it on social media. That takes a special kind of stupid. Of. Definitely. Vaping. It's everywhere, and too many people think it's perfectly safe. Vapes are the cigarettes of the 2020s and beyond. Only fans. Doing stupid stuff and posting it for the whole world to see. Once it's out there, it's out there for good. Any kind of challenge or prank where the person commits a crime, could be vandalism or destruction of property to assault, and then posts it online. Someone used AI to fake someone's voice saying something to try getting them fired. Using AI to make porn. It has happened to famous people and if it can happen to them it could easily happen to anyone. Posting on LinkedIn like it is Facebook. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.